got me a place, y'all. Hey. In Oklahoma. I don't even know why I pulled in like this. Anyway, maybe I'll do a little mini video later of the place. It's a house. <laughs> People were trying to tell me to get an apartment, but I really wanted a house. I really wanted everything to be different. You know, upon relocation, I mean, that's in regards to every area of my life. You know what I'm saying? So my living, um, you know, my job is similar to the work that I have been doing, that I had been doing in St. Louis. Um, you know, so of course I have, have and had a lot of goals upon moving here, um, even regarding dating, right? <laughs> you have to, you have to be intentional. You have to put it out there. And so, um, anyway, um, I was minding my business in Walmart. <laughs> That's the story, right? And I ran into somebody who, um, you know, I recognized him from school or whatever. So, um, we went out a couple times. We've been hanging out and that's been going cool. But, you know, it's only been a couple of weeks. So, it is important being new to the town, take things slow, right? But I wanted to talk a little bit this morning about like codependency in relationships. Um, it can happen, you know, definitely with people you're dating, you know, your love interests, as well as with your family, your family members, right? Or maybe even, even sometimes your friends. And, you know, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist. I mean, I may have studied a little bit of educational psychology. Um, you know, we all took that general education class uh, in psychology. But upon just Dr. Ray-isms and um, life experience, a little bit of research here and there, codependency is actually rooted in, this came to me yesterday, codependency is actually rooted in fear, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness, right? And so, in my past, um, I've often attracted people who are, you know, kind of secure and uh, maybe a little bit content in their singleness or just very busy people, entrepreneurs. Um, and so, in those relationships, like, you can be with somebody and still feel alone and lonely or you can get your get busy you know living your own life and pursuing your own goals and you know working on your mind working on your body especially when you're in different uh, seasonal transitions right that transition could be like for me this is a major life transition transition i just you know moved to a new city so i'm still adjusting you know um i just moved into my place like last week um but you know it it's like, I, I know, like I said, in this experience, like I'm too independent, you know? And this whole moving experience has taught me how to ask for help when I need it, you know? Because I'm a little ashy, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at my lips. But anyway, <laughs> um, when it got down to the end, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is too much packing, moving, paying for movers. You know, um, like even when I move, uh, moved here and not really having a place to stay and doing um, Airbnb and extended stay. And then I wind up, you know, staying with a friend, you know, sleeping on the couch, stuff like that. But it just it puts you in a vulnerable place to ask for help. But when it comes back, when it comes to your love life, it feels good, you know, to have somebody calling you every day give you that attention you know um you know your transition could be not the same as mine you know relocation your transition could be you know you going through a divorce you're going through a separation or you're newly recently single recently divorced and so it's like we have to be careful because like i said we 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 like the attention it's nothing wrong with you know you know having somebody it makes you feel young again like back when life was easy you know high school college the little puppy love type stuff but, you know, it's important just to see, like, it, this, especially when you first start out, like, it's not love. Like, you can have love for somebody, but it's not love. And we have to get to the root of the thing. You know, if a person cannot be by themselves ever, like I said, for me, I think I've gotten too used to being by myself and being alone. And, um, you know, I kind of like a little bit of space. 
little bit. <laughs> you know, I mean, I desire to have my person, somebody in my life, you know, and so that's where it gets kind of murky in dating because you like, you know, I want this person in my life, but you, we got to have boundaries, you know, and um, so you just have to know yourself. You have to know what it is that you um, you need, you know, how does this this uh, relationship fit into your, your work schedule, your life schedule? I remember somebody I dated some years back said, well, I had a life before I met you. I think that was my ex. He said that, and I remember somebody else said that, and it's like, you know what, you right. <laughs> I might, might need to use that on somebody. Like, I had a life before I met you, and like, we don't want anybody that's going to be a distraction or a hindrance to our goals, you know, what we're really... like in regards to um, my platform, my business, and so I really need time and space to be able to get out here and start networking with new people, um, you know, who are really doing things. There's a lot going on here in Tulsa um, uh, in regards to like business, black business, and so um, I don't want to miss the mark, you know, the reason why I came here, like, of course, I really, you know, I do want to be married family and all those good things but I know that there's so much purpose you know that God has given me outside of that you know uh, having a family so I guess it's just a sacrifice that you have to make and who's to say you can't have it all because there are women who have it all you know they have their husband they have their children they have their family and they also have they are running successful um, businesses and so just don't miss the mark. I'm talking to myself, right? You know, I think enjoy dating. But again, um, if it starts to become a little bit too, you know, we are to be interdependent. I know I'm too independent. And so anything that's too codependent, it's kind of just, it can stifle you, it can smother you. So anyway, just think about those things. And some of that could be rooted in, like I said, childhood trauma. Uh, relationship trauma and those are things that we need to work on healing i love you guys have a blessed day